Hey everyone, welcome to our small footprint. My name is Nissa, and if you're new here, we are a family of eight who live off grid in Australia. I'm sitting in my kitchen. It is not the most lovely backdrop at the moment, uh, but this is that temporary roof that badly needs to be replaced, so it's great. But I also have my phone uh, on a upturned pot just to get it at somewhat the right height, but it's still looking up a little bit, and that's fine. Uh, what I wanted to do while the kids were uh, occupied, Daryl's actually at the tip with Surreal and the other kids are doing schoolwork. So what I've been doing is working out my grocery list for this month. So uh, it is Tuesday, I leave for groceries tomorrow and I need to work out what I'm going to do. So part of what I, part of that process, I'm going to have a secondary camera here and I'm going to point it at the screen so I can show you the screen that I'm doing as well and hopefully it will work out. So I use my iPad that isn't turning on for some reason uh, to do a lot of this. I do have a notebook as well but I tend to use my iPad a lot for this sort of stuff. Zoom out a little bit. There we go. Alrighty so I have my planner that I'm still working on this template for a planner that I have been working on for a while here and haven't got it sorted in a way to share yet and I have my inventory listings here though at the moment I updated my inventory listing and I haven't transferred it to the planner at the moment because I've got it in this format to uh, to have multiple pages of it because I'm doing a big stock up and I wanted to be for some reason this page has disappeared not sure why that did, was all filled out as well uh, but I've been filling out the uh, inventory sheets like this because we're doing a big stock up uh, so I've been working on the inventory and doing a really in-depth one and trying to figure out my new base levels that I want for everything because we might do seven to eight weeks between shops this particular time so I've got this here now what I then have done is gone to my sheet here and I've gone through and I've written out any specific meal requests that have been made or things that I know that I want to make that I don't always buy the stuff for. Uh, so I've ordered some more sausage casings, so we're going to make some sausages this month. Uh, we're going to try and do the breakfast burritos for the freezer or English muffin type thing. I'm co I've been contemplating making green curry paste from scratch rather than buying it. But a, a viewer did just message me before and let me know that there is a different brand at Woolworths that's heaps cheaper. So we're probably going to buy a couple of those and give them a go. Uh, we'll probably do dumplings again and we might look at doing some chili with beans with that, that, chunk, that really uh, chunky beef mince that we were doing. Uh, also going to do chicken spring rolls and I have the spring roll pastry and the minced chicken but I ran out of cabbage before I got that done. We have had a request for fish tacos for one of the meals so I'm going to order so I'm going to get some fish so because of these items on this side we have a few things that are needed so we have lemongrass and fresh coriander if I make that green curry paste we've run out of flaked sea salt for some reason and I use that a lot for my like everything bagel seasoning and things like that so on top of my focaccias all that sort of stuff so uh, if the budget allows I'm going to buy some more of that from Costco which is the cheapest place to buy it and then I need to get some crumbed or battered fish for the uh, fish tacos. I have a list here of the fruit and vegetables that were in stock at this shop last year so that I know theoretically what will be cheap at this time of the year uh, at the fruit and veg shop and then I also have some information about stuff that might have been out of stock when I was ordering it. Then I go through the catalog so the other thing that I do is I go through I go through the catalogues on Coles and Woolworths, which they uh, they show online. So we go to the catalogues, and we have this week's catalog, which finishes on today and then the catalogue that starts tomorrow. So I go through both catalogues to see what's on special uh, because if I'm going to order for delivery online today then I need to order from this week's catalogue but if there's something that's on special from next week's catalogue then what I'll do is I'll leave it off the online shopping list and I will grab it in store from Wednesday. So I go through both of the catalogues. I then go back to my 
list and I write down what the specials are for that. Then I go back to my inventory list and I look at and I shop. So at the moment I've pretty much done my trolleys for both of these places and I've used my inventory list to do my shopping getting anything that's half price and anything that's needed now like this month I'm getting some Ziploc bags from Coles because I normally buy them either from Costco or Amazon but they are on special at Coles this month and they end up cheaper per bag at Coles than anywhere else so I do that with Woolworths as well as it's logged me out but I do it with Woolworths as well as Coles uh, and compare the catalogs and everything else and then check my inventory now some of this stuff is purchased from Aldi and Aldi doesn't do online shopping of course and neither does Costco so to a degree some of those items I can only write on my inventory sheet and I can't you know make accounting for on uh, online shopping or anything else but by doing these ones with online shopping for a start I can use PayPal to pay for them but also I get them delivered to mums or I get them to pick up, click and collect and free pick up when I'm out and about and I don't have to go into the store. I generally speaking still go into these stores because uh, for a start things like rice milk and stuff I can only get a certain amount online and sometimes I check if there's more on the shelf uh, but also I generally check their markdowns for meat and stuff like that as well uh, and anything else that I come across at the time and sometimes when I go to Aldi they just don't have everything I need so I'll have to go to a Coles or a Woolworths to double check for that as well so that's how I do my inventory there and then that's how I have my extras laid out to know what the specials are so as I said we've got the Coles and the Woolworths this is things that are on special until Tuesday and then if there's anything that was on special from Wednesday forward would be marked down here as well to go and collect in store uh, because by putting an order in today to be delivered or picked up it's only specials that go until today so I've got them sorted and that that done and then I have my trolleys here that I will organize Coles I generally will get it delivered to mum's place on Wednesday evening and then that way if there's anything that they haven't put in there like that they've been out of stock or whatever I know and I can go to Coles at Carindale on Thursday while I'm doing everything else uh, I also on the on my thing here have so generally speaking I need to go to Kmart or Big W or whatever and I have any school supplies or anything that I might need from there listed here as well uh, and then from that point too I know how much I've spent online at each of these places to go towards what's being spent in the budget and what I will need so like there's things like the it's Easter will fall in this six week period and while we will make some Easter treats they have some dairy free Easter bunnies on special so I will grab a packet or two of those for the kids as well things like that uh, I check all the half price so the high smell toothpaste which is something that we've just started using and it's a lot less waste it's half price and so are these uh, silicon reusable bags are half price and I thought I might grab one of each size to have a look and see if they're going to work for me to use for some things as an alternative to Ziploc bags uh, but we're also stocking up this month so the plan is to stock up on a bunch of things. Uh, I'll go through it as I, when I share the actual grocery haul and stuff like that. And I don't know if this video will be standalone or I'll probably have something else with it. Uh, maybe some shopping on the end of it rather than just by itself. But I just wanted to do this while I had peace and quiet at home and could do it and have both camera angles to show. Uh, so this month I am doing a bit of a stock up. I'm buying an extra bag of flour and some an extra probably an extra slab of coconut cream tins and an extra slab of uh, corn tins maybe tomatoes things like that just to bump up the pantry because at the moment I'm looking at probably seven weeks before I go shopping again looking at the cash flow that I've got so I have a cash flow um, that gets updated every day basically uh, whenever money is spent a cash flow that's ongoing uh, all the way up to the end of the financial year at the moment and then I will start a new one for the new financial year within the next couple of months so I can see at each point any time that something's going to come out and the bank account might go into negative or where I have planned to do shopping I can look at it and go well if I spend fifteen hundred dollars or two grand at this shopping trip then that's going to put me out so I need to put it off for a week um, it, we haven't had to do it as much lately we we were doing pretty good I think that's what's the hardest part about having lost the work is that we'd gotten to a point where we were doing really well. Uh, we were doing, we still don't earn a lot of money, but we don't need a lot of money. So it didn't matter. Uh, but it meant that 
when I was shopping and things like that, whilst I stayed within a budget, because it's always a good idea to know what you're spending, to be mindful about not purchasing more food than you need and to make sure that your food is being used appropriately, I was able to budget in round numbers rather than to every cent. Uh, and we've come back to the point where I have to check the fortnights that I want to shop and things like that and make sure that there's enough money that it's going to cover the shopping but also cover anything that happens in that fortnight as well. Uh, part of that is the work that I do with Daryl now is not paid on a schedule, it's paid on a completion of job factor. So sometimes there will be more money there and sometimes there'll be none. So we're getting it sorted but having that cash flow in place that I kept going even when we were doing well uh, ha will really help with that too. It allows me to see when there's a bit of surplus and when there isn't. Uh, it allows me to put any um, extraneous type stuff in there like I had the rates in there and the car repairs and I know that the car will need a service again in six months so I can put that in when birthdays happen so that there's a little bit of extra there for birthday gifts and stuff like that so it's all spanned out through that. Uh, so at the moment it's a little bit more important for me to keep an eye on that when I'm guessing, when I'm deciding what time, what, when I will shop. All right, so it is Wednesday afternoon and I've just made it to mum's place. It's about three o'clock. She won't be home for another 45 to an hour, but I don't have keys to get into her place at the moment. So I will uh, deal with sitting at the front. I'm in the shade. It's all good. I don't want to go anywhere because if I go somewhere, I'll spend money. I'll buy a coffee or a drink or something and spend money that I don't really have. So I'll sit here, I've got my laptop and I'll get some work done. Um, I got, I stopped the last video abruptly because Daryl pulled in and uh, the dogs got very excited that he was home. So it was very loud. Uh, so uh, the other thing I was going to say in regards to the planning is the uh, Mega Meats Butcher puts out a brochure for their specials. Uh, it comes out on a Tuesday night because their specials start on Wednesday so I always check that too for things like bacon or any sort of meat that is on special uh they have some crumbed chicken thighs I think it was I'll put the I'll put the, the clip up here but I think it was like it might have been eight dollars a kilo which is awfully cheap depending on what they look like and I kind of need them frozen not fresh too so I'll have a, a look at that, but that might be something that could be done in the air fryer quite nicely. And for that price, uh, thighs on their own are 12, 11, 49 or something a kilo at Costco. And to buy them and crumb them myself, if they're that much cheaper, I know you get less meat per kilo because the crumb goes in the weight and it really depends on the type of crumb and things like that. But it might be a worthwhile purchase this month while I'm trying to figure out stuff but only if I can buy like a box of them frozen maybe but they do have budget bacon on special this month $7.99 a kilo I think it was so I will buy my bacon there this month um, and buy enough to throw some in the freezer and things like that so that is the plans so far for the shopping um, we will see I might continue on this video with the actual shopping process and then start the haul with the unload at home we'll see how we go with putting this all together but uh i just wanted to add that in so it's like three o'clock made it to brisbane on wednesday all right it is 11 a.m on a thursday and i've only just hit carindale i had a bit of an eventful morning uh, a moving truck parked in mum's driveway last night and was still there by like nine o'clock this morning and i <laughs> I'm mostly blind in one eye, reversing is not my forte, in a ute with a truck there as well, it wasn't going to happen. I went knocking on the doors in mum's unit to see if I could find who owned it to move it, um, but no one answered the door, uh, and um, it's hitting nine o'clock and I really need to get moving, so I actually rang my uncle who only lives about five minutes away, and he drove over and reversed the car out for me, uh, but he then needed some help with his computer. His uh, computer wasn't opening his Excel files how he needed them to. So he asked me if I could give him a hand with that. So he followed me back to his place and noticed that one of the uh, brake lights was out in the back of the car. Uh, and he had a quick look at that while I was doing his computer and it's a wiring issue and he needs to redo some wiring under the car for the tail lights. It's to do with some wiring that we adjusted like three months ago to do with the uh, trailer connection the wiring was pretty bad then we redid a bunch it's obviously come loose again so he said it's gonna take a couple of hours to get it done right uh so it's now 11 
Oh, and I always had to drop mum's phone off. So mum left her phone at home. So I dropped mum's phone in at work to her because it has all her, you know, like authentication codes and stuff for work. So I had to send that to her, uh, drop that into her. So I've done that. 11 o'clock hit Carindale and I'm now going to have something to eat and quickly sit down and make a plan of attack because I've only got a few hours here now before I have to go back to Uncle Jeff's to get the wiring done uh, because the groceries are being delivered about 4.30. Uh, so I have to be back at mum's by 4.30 to get the grocery delivery. So anyway, so I thought I'd catch you up. So I don't know how this video is going to work out. I'm going to try and film some in the shops as well. I've got to go to Kmart and get the kids some stuff and uh, I gotta go through Aldi and that. So we'll see how we go and whether this goes on the end of the planning video or I don't know. I These videos always end up being just a little bit of whatever they are. So for the moment, I'm gonna go into Karen I'm gonna sit down with my laptop and my notebook, figure out plan of attack and have something to eat because I haven't had anything to eat or drink this morning yet other than water to take my morning pills. So <laughs> uh, let's get that started and I will be back with you. So we always check out the Kmart um, arts and crafts stuff as well. We always buy textures and pencils because the kids go through them fairly quickly. And then this month I had a child ask for some white paint and some black. I bought the cats this water fountain a while back because uh, Akio really didn't like the still water so it has movement and it was $39 which was fine uh, but I regret it because there's something similar on eBay and I went looking for generic filters for these because the filters can be bought here and they're just a two pack for $5 uh, but on eBay you can buy generic water filters for $10 for 10 of them kind of pricing or a lot cheaper anyway uh, but they don't fit this particular waterer it's only one that's sold on ebay as well so at some point when i've got money again i might replace the waterer because it's going to save me money in the long run to get these cheaper and now i tried running it without these in there but it does accumulate bugs and stuff and it's not real pleasant so the filters are important i don't change them as often as it says uh, it says replace three to four weeks so i buy two per six to eight week shopping period and that's they just have to deal with that the other thing I buy at Kmart is a stationery for their school work. So we need some HB pencils and these are five packs for a dollar. Uh, and I'll also look for some erasers and sharpeners and stuff too. So we've got erasers, sharpeners, I did that the wrong way, sharpeners, the scissors and stuff, they don't need any of that, but they do need some sticky tape. So there's rolls of sticky tape for a dollar that we'll grab as well. And I'll probably grab some like Elmer's glue for them too. All right, just ducking out to the car before I hit Aldi so that I don't have to worry about carting anything else while I'm in Aldi. Full trolley. I dropped into Coles, grabbed coffee because that's the cheapest way to buy it is to go and get a clearance coffee. I also grabbed some of the corn chips. Now I did order 10 packets of these with the uh, click and collect, but most of the time they don't have enough on the shelf and we end up short. If we have extra, we have extra corn chips. are one of those things I've been looking at my budget that we have a tendency to buy in town um, towards the end of the month because we run out and I don't make them so I'm better off getting far more than normal because these are $4.60 a pack which is $1.15 per hundred and most of the corn chips that you buy elsewhere are $1.50 to $2 per hundred so these are heaps cheaper and we prefer them anyway so I grabbed those I also grabbed some donuts I'll put this in and I'll show you now these are super fancy completely unnecessary but I always buy two of them for mum and I to share every time I come down uh, and because I'm going back to Auntie Gay's and Uncle Jeff's working on my car for me, I bought a six pack there, 15% off if you buy six of them. So you end up getting one and a half free anyway. Um, and I'll share them with Auntie Gay and Uncle Jeff and Tom and that because I have to go there and say thank you for helping me with the wiring in my car. So you got lemon meringue, a custard, a Snickers, a chocolate brownie, an apple crumble and a New York cheesecake. So very, very decadent and fancy. I also grabbed a couple of these for Daryl and I. We don't like drinking out of the stainless steel coffee cups, um, but he was looking for something to take in the car when he did a couple of trips recently. So these were only $5 at Kmart, so that worked quite well to just use them. And they might be good in winter for us too, for our morning coffee, keep them a little bit warmer. So I spent about 117 at Kmart, which I had budgeted in 100 um, but that extra would have been those coffee cups and the clearance pajamas, which is fine. We'll manage, but the 100 was to cover all the school supplies. So we got all them and that's the main thing. So now I'm going to grab Aldi. Alrighty, 20 plus one back at the car with Aldi. Very standard shop at Aldi, same as what I 
always get. They had a couple of bargains, which we'll go through with the grocery haul. Some their split chickens were only 9.95 a kilo, things like that, but very standard. So now I'm going to get it all into the ute and then head to Uncle Jeff's to get the car fixed. And that was what? Uh, not going to focus. Three. 328. 5.30 cold delivery. So this is all the cold stuff that I got. All the cold stuff I've taken up to mum's and everything else. So I'm going to load this into the car as well. One of those things that I was talking about with the uh, corn chips. So I was glad I grabbed a few because they've swapped out of these for some of them. And whilst these are fine and I got them cheaper because they're a substitution, they're not as nice as the Coles brand so we got some of those as a substitution so I'm glad I grabbed those extra couple of packets. Alrighty so it is 11 a.m and uh, we got the click and collect from Woolworths dropped uh, picked up at about 8 30 at near mum's place and then we shot to the butcher and the fruit and veg which I forgot to film any of as per usual so we got the butcher done and the fruit and veg got some good deals on some bacon and some chicken legs from the butcher and then some good deals on a bunch of stuff at the fruit and veg which I'll share in the grocery haul uh, now from the fruit and veg we come to Costco but mum usually follows me uh, because it's just easier that way because so she drives her car I drive mine and then we split ways from the other side of Costco uh, except that she got in front of me and she missed the turn off <laughs> and her Bluetooth isn't working in her car at the moment so I can't call her but I'm hoping that I honked as I took the right turn so I'm hoping she noticed and she turned around at the next stop but uh, she hasn't called me and she isn't here yet, so <laughs> we'll see how that goes. So once she gets here, I'll show you all the fruit and veg in the back of her car. So what we do is because the uh, car park at the fruit and veg is quite small and it's pr quite often very full. And then if I have the trailer on as well, then that causes issues. So what I do is I park on the street. We take mum's car up to the fruit and veg store and then we fill the back of her car with it all. And when we're in the Costco car park, that way it's still in the shade too. We have those reflective like windscreen things and we put that over all the fruit and we leave it in her car while we're in Costco rather than transferring it to the ute to sit in the sun while we're here uh, and then once we've finished Costco when I'm packing everything in then I transfer it all from her car into the ute along with everything else and adjust it and put it as necessary so we will leave the fruit and veg in her car so I'll show you that we do move the meat though so there is some meat in her car as well from the butcher I will put that in the esky that has frozen stuff in it to keep it cold while we're while it's sitting there uh, I get asked a few questions about the esky so the eskies are those ones that are supposed to keep ice frozen for seven days now the seals on mine aren't great because we leave we leave them in the sun we don't have a carport or anything at the moment it's on the list of things to do uh, but we forget to bring the eskies into the shade and we just don't have a lot of room and so they sat in the sun a lot and the seals aren't great so the eskies are nowhere near as good quality as they were when we bought them and a couple of them barely seal I, you can see behind me that one's popped up when I adjust the seal, fill it and strap it down, it will be closed, but it's still not great. Uh, so the plan is to replace these eventually as well. We might replace them all with the square ones, which seem to last a bit better, but also fit on the S on the tray a bit better. They also fit on the trailer a bit better. They'd fit three across. Uh, so that's what I plan to do. Um, so yes, at the moment, 11 a.m. sitting at Costco and waiting to see if mum makes it. <laughs> and then we'll probably have something to eat and then we'll get the Costco shopping done and I will try and film in Costco for you uh, some of the bits and pieces but I can't guarantee it uh, as per usual I have no idea how this video is going to go but we will see what it looks like when I get home and I edit it but yeah so I'll come back to you shortly so this is what back of mum's car looks like nice and packed with everything in where it is going and we're just going to cover it with the reflective thing and this spot should be shaded by the time we come back to
Alrighty, it is 2 p.m. and we finished at Costco. I'll show you a range of the around the car. Everything's packed up in the Eskies and all that. It is very warm. It's about 32 at the moment. Um, and Costco car park doesn't have any shade. So, but we're all packed up. It's only two o'clock. So I will uh, head home now and see how we go.